Okay, uh, you've received your guitar and you got it out and played a chord and you get buzz. That's what a string buzz sounds like. I purposely set this up so this will do this and we're going to go in and adjust it, but let me start with first things first. Your guitar has arrived more than likely by UPS. Okay, we all know UPS. <laughs> Anything can happen. Okay. But primarily what we're looking at here is heat and cold variations. In the middle of winter, you got really extreme cold temperatures. In the summer, extreme hot temperatures. Either one can cause shifting uh, in uh, any material, especially wood, uh, the neck, the string heights, and so forth. So, uh, so even though they're adjusted really well you know, when they leave here, and I'm the one that checks them out before they go, uh, they can shift after they're in my hands and again, depending on where they're going and how long they're in the mail and a lot of different things. So let's just say you've got a buzz. Okay, this can be caused by improper placement, meaning to say, uh, if, if I place at the back of the fret space, it's going to buzz like that all the time. If I move it up, it cleans up, as you can hear. Okay, so... Uh, if you're just a beginner here, uh, you can do this real easily. Uh, if, if you're not familiar with playing yet, uh, string buzz is part of the thing, and uh, uh, it can be on a guitar that's adjusted perfectly. So don't blame it on the guitar if it's the player, is what we're saying here. And again, we're just trying to eliminate one thing at a time. Okay, now, now uh, we, uh, string buzz can also be caused by uh, just playing too hard. Now, if I hit it that hard, I, I can have the best uh, well-adjusted guitar and make it rattle that way. Uh, so, in other words, you can't be a bull in a china shop. You have to approach this with some finesse. You, you should be striking somewhere in this volume category, not, uh, not snapping the string. Uh, snapping the string will almost always cause a buzz. So, first things first, uh, could be player, player error. Okay, uh, next stage here. Uh, if you have a buzz, one of the first things that we talk about is uh, uh, replacing the strings. Uh, depends on how long this guitar has been in shipping. Who knows? Uh, again, heat and cold uh, can cause problems. So uh, we suggest the second stage here uh, that you change the strings. Now again, we've got change, uh, string change videos that you can watch and uh, watch every move all the way through to change them. Uh, uh, and make sure you do it right, get it tuned up you know, to pitch and so forth. Now speaking of pitch here, in other words, if you're tuned a little bit low, uh, the string isn't going to be strung as tightly, and that can cause a buzz. So make sure that uh, your guitar is tuned up to pitch. Now again, uh, this guitar has the you know, uh, pitch control on it, meaning the tuning device uh, made by Fishman and so forth. Uh, very accurate and so forth. So again, uh, you're, and if you're not sure how to do that, we've got our help things involved there too. You can see a film also on that. Okay, so make sure your guitar is in pitch. So we've covered three things so far. Player error, weather conditions, heat and cold in the shipping, and uh, is the instrument tuned to pitch. Okay, uh, last but not least here, if indeed you do have a buzz and a rattle, uh, and if it hasn't been, if you've gone through all the first three situations here, making sure all those are right, we go to the fourth and final thing. Let's say you've changed the string, you know you're playing it right, and the instrument is tuned up to pitch, but it still rattles. Okay, final stage, we're going to go to adjusting the truss rod. Okay, now, as I started out saying, uh, I've got this one adjusted, so it is a little bit sensitive. It does rattle. Now, I'm placing it right. As you can see, there, but it still rattles. That should not rattle there. If I was back here that would really rattle, but if I'm up here, it should not be rattling, but it still is. What we're going to do now is show you how to correct this. 
Okay, now if you want to get the camera right here, uh, I'm going to insert this with the right hand. Now you won't be able to see here. Now you should be able to see. Now see where uh, uh, the thing inserts, the, the truss rod key inserts into the guitar. Now again, we can turn this clockwise, which is that way, or counterclockwise, which is this way. So uh, what we're saying is uh, the neck is too far back. So that's what's causing the rattle. So we're going to move, we're going to make the neck bend forward. Okay, the way I do that is by turning counterclockwise, which will be this way. Not that way, but this way. So I've got the key in there. Now I'm going to pull this back. Now it turns pretty hard. And sometimes you have to wiggle it around to get it out. Now again, I'm going to uh, try to get you on film here so you can see what you're doing. Okay. Now, in this situation, I've adjusted that a little bit here. Uh, let's see if it rattles. It's still a little sensitive, but depending on the player, you might want it real sensitive. Uh, just so it doesn't rattle. Keep in mind, if you go overboard here, you can actually make it harder to play, which we don't want to do. We want it set right smack in the middle. So again, if you want to return back, you just turn it clockwise then, instead of counterclockwise. So you see here, in other words, if I want to go back then, I'll take it this way, oh, here I'll turn it this way, and turn it that way. Now I came back this way, which made the rattle disappear. So, so in this situation, now you can hear it's not rattling. But just that slightest adjustment, the guitar doesn't look any different, but that's where the science is. That truss rod can be pure magic, and uh, we all know it isn't pure magic, it's science again. Uh, that's the beauty of science. If you, if you know science really well, you can make this work. Now, uh, keep, keep this in mind. Uh, if, uh, if you figure it out this time, originally, uh, say you go into the fall and your guitar works just fine up until one day you, you get a buzz. You know what to do with it. This film is always waiting for you on the side here and you can play it back as many times as you want to. Uh, be patient. Uh, sometimes this key is a little bit hard to get in here. Uh, I've been having a little difficulty here today because I, I want to stay within view of the camera and it's a little bit tricky. Usually I'd turn this upside down and I'd go right in and get it. <laughs> However, you wouldn't be able to see me do it, so, so that's another trick. So, but uh, what I'm saying is uh, you go over all these, l let me review again now. Make sure it isn't player error. In other words, uh, make sure that uh, you're plucking the string and make sure you place it right. Don't, don't hit the string too hard. Don't snap the string, okay? Uh, keep in mind weather could, could have caused this and uh, replacing the strings many times helps. So uh, you can start with replacing the strings. That will help a great deal. Okay, third factor, uh, make sure it's tuned to pitch. Uh, you uh, players that uh, play in alternative tunes, uh, you could have a problem there. Uh, in reality, if, uh, if you take the strings down far enough in your alter alternative tune, uh, you can uh, lessen the pressure on the neck and the neck goes back and you pick up rattles. So that alternative tuning can be very colorful but you're throwing your guitar out of balance too, and uh, that should be dealt with uh, in a separate video. So uh, that could be the problem. Okay, last but not least, the truss rod. Now, if, if you recall, we put it, we, we inserted it into the uh, hole here and uh, turned it counterclockwise. That's when it's buzzing. If you want to go back up, Say, let's say you think you've got it down too far, you can also go back up just turning it clockwise instead of counterclockwise. So uh, in this situation, again, this is the beauty of all of these films. Go back and listen to them 15, 20 times if you have to. A lot of times I've said a couple things that will make a difference that you didn't quite catch. So uh, it's the beauty of this whole situation again. So uh, give these things a try. Uh, 
if, if this doesn't work, uh, last result, uh, resort, uh, give us a call here. We'll be more than happy to take care of you. Thanks for watching.